This is the Lakeshore Improvement Plan. This is something that I've been involved with for a number of years. It predates my candidacy as second ward alderman. Uh, it goes back to the time that I spent uh, on the board and as president of SOAR. This is a very bold, visionary project that has the chance to come to fruition. And we're promoting that right now. Uh, it includes most of my ward. The second ward in, uh, in this map uh, actually runs from about here to about here. So I've got almost all of this project area. Uh, I share it with Alderman Smith here and Alderman Riley here. So I'm going to need their help and cooperation to bring this about to reality. And I've talked to both of them. They're very interested in, in moving forward on this. As you can see, uh, this is one of the most congested areas on the entire lakefront. Uh, Lakeshore Drive is a federal route. It's, it's Route 41, as we all know. Uh, but the land under it is owned by IDOT, as Governor Quinn could tell you. And it's maintained by the city of Chicago. So there's three levels of government that are, are involved in it. But it's years beyond its service life. It's crumbling. Uh, the, the viaducts are falling apart. Occasionally, they have to be closed due to concrete spalling. Chunks of concrete land on cars. Uh, it needs to be rebuilt. Along with that, the lakeshore itself, the revetment, which keeps Lake Michigan from invading our city, uh, also needs to be rebuilt. And we are now in the process of rebuilding 10 miles of that shoreline. It's divided up into 23 segments. So far, we've done 19. Can you guess which one we haven't done? Right here, right in the heart of downtown. It remains to be completed. This is a $500 million project, partially federally funded, partially state funded. Uh, but we, we've saved the best for last, actually. This is the part of the lakefront that cries out for complete reconstruction. What you're looking at here is the intersection of Chicago Avenue and Lakeshore Drive. From a traffic engineering standpoint, this is an unholy creation that never should have been allowed to exist. <laughs> if you propose this to a traffic design engineer today, they would throw you out of their office and say, this can't happen. It is a disaster. It is the cause of most of the congestion going all the way to Belmont in the morning on Lakeshore Drive. I won't get too technical, but what happens here is you can see the, the uh, traffic that needs to turn from northbound Lakeshore Drive to go west onto Chicago Avenue. Uh, you have to have the cycle time to allow for at least 20 cars to make that turn. Otherwise, this part of Lakeshore Drive backs up. There's no, there isn't a sufficient turning lane. So having the cycle be that long stops the southbound traffic for an inordinate amount of time. And that creates the traffic jam every day that exists on Lakeshore Drive. So if we could fix this, we could increase the capacity of Lakeshore Drive dramatically uh, and cut down on the number of, uh, of rush hour delays. The other thing we need to concern ourselves with is the fact that Lake Michigan doesn't seem to want to stay where we would like it to be. Uh, this is a photograph from 2014. You could see the, the lake uh, invading the roadway. Uh, we all remember a snowcopolypse from 2011. Uh, if that had been in the summer months instead of the winter, it, it would have looked a lot like this. The interesting thing about the 2011 storm, the lake was at historically low levels. It has risen almost five feet since then, and we're seeing dramatic fluctuations in the lake level over a shorter period of time due probably to climate change. Some of the scientists uh, say that's what it is. Uh, and this constant raising and lowering of the lake level, you've got part of the revetment gets exposed to the elements, then it's covered by water again in the following years. It's crumbling at a much faster rate than anyone predicted. It is literally falling into Lake Michigan. In fact, the word revetment, uh, it, it comes from a, a French word which means protective cloak or protective clothing. The revetment is designed to protect our city from Lake Michigan. It is failing and it needs to be replaced. So this is what we're proposing. 70 acres of new parkland, a brand new Oak Street Beach. Uh, you could see this barrier island. This was actually in Daniel Burnham's original plan for Chicago. So we're, uh, we're being true to his uh, vision for the city. Uh, and this is 70 acres of parkland that doesn't exist today, uh, which could be part of not only the buffer to protect the city from Lake Michigan, but to give us all uh, great recreational opportunities that we don't have in what is really the busiest stretch of the Lakefront Trail, right here. This is the busiest stretch of the Lakefront Trail, and it's also the ugliest. There's no green at all. That's nothing but concrete there, crumbling concrete. So what we need to do is we need to fix that. It would look like this. 
remarkable to actually create land where none existed before. Makes you feel pretty powerful when you think we have the ability to do that. Hello, Mr. Lucas, right? Can't find some land? Build your own. Nobody owns it, right? But actually what I'm proposing here really is nothing new. We've been doing this for years. Most of the lakefront as it exists today was built on lake fill. It's not that hard to do. We just did it at Fullerton Avenue. Walsh Construction put a couple of coffer dams out there and lined up the dump trucks and dumped fill into the lake and created six acres of parkland at Fullerton in Alderman Smith's district that didn't exist. And it's there now, and it's green, and it's beautiful, and there's trees and joggers and picnickers, and that was only $31 million. So what we're talking about here, obviously, it's a, it's a bigger scale. Uh, it's 70 acres. But the alternative is to allow Lake Michigan to eventually be at the doorsteps of all those high rises on the Gold Coast, and I don't think that's a good plan either. Here's another view of it looking from the north. You know, this is a spectacular skyline that we have in the city of Chicago. Uh, it's, it's postcard worthy, and adding this to it really, it's, it's like a green welcome mat in front of the skyline. It just seems like it, it belongs there. Uh, this is the Chicago Avenue Exchange reimagined. It still allows for the connection between Chicago Avenue and Lakeshore Drive, which, by the way, we need. We have the hospital campus there. You've got Northwestern. You've got uh, RIC. You've got Children's. You need emergency vehicle access from Lakeshore Drive, so we have to have that intersection there. But this is designed in such a way uh, that won't cause the traffic jams that we see today. And, again, we've done this before. Roosevelt Road, Lakeshore Drive, the museum campus. We know how to do this. This is nothing new. It just needs to be done. Uh, it needs to be done now. 